You are here to study at the Fist Puncher Dojo. So what advice would you give to people who want to get started making video games? I have great advice for people who want to get started making video games. One, I'd say just do it. Just do it. Download the free tools and do it. Just like we talked about. Why are you watching this right now? Why are you watching Why? a couple of buffoons? Stop. Turn this you off. You be making your game. But two, one of the things that we learn, we get a lot of at shows like this, a lot of youngsters, a lot of college students, a lot of young kids come up to us, learn your one minute elevator pitch. And I'm not talking about for a game, for yourself. Kids out there, learn how to sell yourself in a short, succinct, terse little package. Just get the point, and it's hard to do, because I know, I, I, know, I know it's tough to kind of find like the selling points for yourself as a developer, as a game program, but if you want to get hired at some of these bigger companies, get that one minute elevator pitch ready. And if you come to a show like GDC, just practice it. Sit in front of the mirror, sit in front of your dog, your friends, and just like practice your elevator pitch. Because we get so many kids who come up to us, and they're just ill-prepared to even pitch themselves. You know, making a business card, that's not enough. You yeah. gotta have a pitch ready. And it's, it's strange how few of these kids come up to us, and obviously eager about getting into the industry, but they, they just don't have a good way of presenting themselves. So that would, that would be my best advice, because I'm sitting here at GDC, so I've been suffering through this for three days. So I throw your business cards out, you get a one minute elevator pitch about how you're gonna be a hard working employee and now you're a game developer, you got your degree, here's who I am, yeah. thanks for your time, sir. I was to, these kids, you linger around for 20 minutes, and, oh my God. You have to have a purpose with your communication, with whatever it is, whether you're an indie developer trying to pitch to a publisher, or you're trying to get a job in the industry. Yeah. Think about the person's time that you're communicating yes. with. Think about what is your purpose for communicating with them? What is the message you want to get across? And how can you get that across as succinctly as possible in the least amount of time? Because it's respectful to the person yeah. that you're communicating with and to the next person in line behind you yeah. to pitch the next yes. game and the next idea and that wants the next job. Be respectful to them and to the person you're communicating with and say, this is my purpose. This is what I'm here for. This is what I can offer you. If you're interested, this is how you can contact me. Would you like to talk more about this? If not, thanks for your time. Yeah. You, know, you know how to reach me. That thoughtfulness goes a long way. When we see, and I'm sure this is especially true of all the bigger companies, when they see that you're being respectful of the person that you're communicating with time. Because time is the most valuable resource that we all have, especially at shows like this. We're all booked with meetings. We're all crunched for time. If you show that you're thoughtful enough that you're being respectful of someone's time, that goes a long way. Yeah. And if you can sell yourself quickly, that's what you gotta do at these shows. And you know, you're gonna be remembered a lot more in a positive light if you sell yourself quickly in a minute versus if you're the dude who comes across as a douchebag sitting there at our, at our booth for 30 minutes talking and talking. You might think that you're being remembered better, and you might be, but you're not being remembered in a good light. You're being remembered as that dumbass doofus who we bitch about at dinner the next night. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm the dude, I have, I have all this coarse language during this. You're all serious. I'm a professional. He's a professional. I'm a professional. He's wearing, right he has buttons <laughs> on his shirt. That's why he's a professional. I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah, so you know, we both have facial hair. So.